Hey everybody, this is Rabbi Marcus. It's nice to see you. Oh, for the sins that we've committed, I missed yesterday's Rabbi, hot, Rabbi Raskus hot take. Um, so I'm going to make it up to you today. Today's teaching is from the 13th of Tishrei. Today's the 14th of Tishrei. And this teaching is called Man's Humanity to Man. Rabbi Raskus begins. We often use the poetic phrase, man's inhumanity to man, but we just as often forget that there also exists man's humanity to man. The following incident illustrates the truth that in the midst of hate, there can also be love. When the Nazis overran Paris, Mother Maria, a nun, took charge of secret organization of priests for rescuing Jewish children. A small convent in Paris was established at the liaison point and rescue center. In February of 1943, Mother Maria's home was raided by the Gestapo, and the nun's mother was taken. During the angry interrogation, a Gestapo agent turned to the old woman and said, You educated your daughter very stupidly. She helps only Jews. This is not true, the nun's mother replied. She helps those in need. She would even help you if you were in trouble. Mother Maria was last seen alive on March 31st, 1945. It is reported that she committed one last humane act. She exchanged her precious Aryan card for the card of a Jewish woman chosen for the gas chamber. Mother Maria is a fine example of the heroes of humanity who stand forth in their willingness to help people regardless of color or creed. These people and they are to be these people and they are to be found in all faiths are the living embodiment of man's humanity to man. He quotes Maimonides on the bottom. The righteous of all faiths have a share in the world to come. Beautiful teaching uh, from Rabbi Raskis um, that is so true. I just want to focus on the first paragraph for a second here, this idea that we constantly focus on man's humanity to man, and we don't focus enough on man's humanity to man. And that is so true. We, we as human beings, are so we so crave to talk about the negative and to complain and to fetch uh, we Jews happen to be very good at that, um, and there, it really takes a lot of self-discipline and work to, to refocus on the positive, on the good that's happening in the world. Um, we know in our news media, um, you know, the bad things get more clicks, it gets more reads, um, and so those are the things that are, are taken into precedence. So uh, we do have to do that much more work to, to focus and balance our perspective on all the good things that are happening in the world. But on to his second point about this, this amazing um, nun who, who um, saved uh, these Jews um, and was unfortunately killed uh, for her amazing uh, act of service, acts of service. <coughs> Rabbi Raskus calls this humanity towards man. Um, and I don't really know uh, necessarily what that, that term means. Um, is it these, the holiness of every human being? Is that what he's talking about? What, is, what does it really mean to, to uh, treat someone humanely? Um, and um, what does it mean that she's not treating herself humanely, right? She sacrificed herself for somebody else. Um, is she any less of a human being than somebody else? Um, so this idea of, I think, of treating someone humanely um, is a little confusing. And so I, I think I would rather reinterpret her story of, of sort of why she did what she did. And I, I, I think it's truly an act of service. You know, we as human beings can worry about our own individual needs, our individual desires, and everything like this, and live a very finite life, live a very um, sheltered life, uh, comfortable life, worrying about ourselves, and then we die, and that's it. Um, or we could choose to live a more meaningful life, a deeper life, a life of service, a life of transcendence where we connect to God and, and live eternal lives, and our deeds go down in eternity, are remembered forever. Um, and the religious person, the person of faith, really is an adjustment from living a life of, of, of trying to satiate and fulfill one's own selfish needs um, to, to, to living a life beyond oneself, to, to live a life of service, to live a life for a higher good than one's own self. Um, and I think this nun's act was an act of devotion to God. I don't necessarily think it was an act of devotion to human beings. Uh, it was a devotion to God. It was, it was more important to the nun to do good and to do justice and to serve, serve her her God, um, than than even her own life and her own personal needs. 
Now, of course, this nun's decision was was uh, an extreme one, um, certainly, and, and certainly to be lauded and honored. Uh, interesting compared to the the case of Socrates from last a uh, couple days ago. But um, even in our own lives, we we bump into these these things all the time in our own lives. These these moments when we can either um, put precedence or put priority on our own basic needs and our own comfortableness, or we can put um, the priority on serving and being of service to others. I hope you enjoyed this, everybody, and until next time, thank you.